Hey guys, in this video we have another very easy work from home job that's hiring right now that essentially has you reviewing comments online and making sure that the online community is a safe place for everyone. So it's at a company called gaggle.net which has online solutions for K through 12 student safety. Basically what you're going to do is go to their careers page and they'll have basically mental health therapists and then they have all open positions. So it looks like they just have one job available when you go to this page, but that's not actually true. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to learn more next to all open positions, and then you'll see the page where they have a few other jobs available. And one you want to look at is in the safety category called the entry level hybrid operations rep. So this is a job it's kind of similar to one I've shown you in the past where basically it's a remote US based position and this job basically they do have all sorts of different shifts available and what you're going to do is be part of a team that helps essentially save lives of kids in K through 12 to basically help prevent bullying, school violence, self harm and suicide. So this is a company that basically is looking for an entry-level hybrid operations rep to join their team in reviewing and analyzing online activity of students. So this is a unique opportunity that offers a chance to make a real difference in lives of many students across the country. It requires focus and dedication to make quick and accurate decisions on repetitive work, and the team is credited with, with uncovering drug abuse, bullying, threats of violence, suicide attempts, self-harm situations, and domestic abuse. So you're basically improving the lives of people. You're looking for these, you know, these different signals online based on what people are posting. And what you will do is review and analyze student activity to identify potentially inappropriate content with school communication systems, work independently to determine if an incident poses a threat to a student's well-being, and taking action to notify the designated contacts at the school to ensure that students are safe. Basically, fielding phone calls and emails from customers about student incidents in a responsive, resourceful, and professional manner investigating and troubleshooting customer inquiries, recording and maintaining concise notes regarding each incident in Salesforce CRM, staying abreast of potentially troublesome incidents, trends, and national issues that may negatively impact students and advising colleagues of findings. So what you should have is experience using a variety of desktop and web-based applications. They use things like Salesforce, Service Cloud, Slack, and Sling and you want to maybe have a little bit of experience in education, crisis management, child advocacy, or a related field. Customer service experience is a plus. So a strong comfort level in communicating with customers through email, text, and phone to convey the seriousness of a situation would also be great. The ability to stay focused on the same task for long periods of time. You must be able to process large amounts of content quickly and accurately. A passion for reading, you will read a lot of material as you review and analyze student content. So excellent reading comprehension is important. So a lot of what you're doing is reading and reviewing these comments. So also there is a fast paced, deadline driven environment and you need to be ready to learn fast and to work hard. They also want you to have confidence to operate independently within a virtual team environment bachelor's degree or or equivalent experience in education, criminal justice, social work, psychology, or customer service. And fluency in Spanish is a plus, but it's not required. So, you know, if you have customer service experience, it looks like that's, you know, something that they are looking for in many cases. They mention that, you know, multiple times here. So if you've ever done anything in customer experience, I think they'll accept that in most part as good enough qualifications for this job. And other than that, additional information, your report to the operations supervisor. This is a work from home position, a reliable high speed connection and a comfort, comfortable private and dedicated work area will be needed. It is important to note that this position, you will be required to view content of a sensitive nature. So you need to be okay with that and just be understanding of that. This role requires sedentary or light duty work as well as high visual acuity. So you're gonna to have to be at a computer screen for a very long periods of time, in other words, which you already know that. Um, candidates must be able to willing, 
be willing to answer and make phone calls in a professional and courteous manner during scheduled work hours and four 10 hour days per week that are subject to change on a regular basis. So you're looking at also four day work weeks, which could be nice for some people, depending on how you look at that. You could have three day weekends, but you're working longer days during your work days. So some people like that, some people don't, but I think a lot of people would enjoy having a three day weekend every week. So for this, please apply to this posting in order to learn more about the starting salary and benefit options. Now they also mention things like 401k, 4% company match, and some other types of benefits as well, like medical, dental, and vision, and all of those things. So as far as whether or not this is full-time, of course it is. Again, four 10-hour days is typically what you're supposed to be working here. So as far as what it's like to work at Gaggle, now as far as how much you could possibly earn with a job like this, we have a few different estimates here. So I'm going to basically show you the range of what you might expect based on reviews. And what other people have disclosed are around $22 an hour, around $28 an hour, and around $21 an hour. So it looks like you could be anywhere between $20 and $30 per hour for a job like this. Now as far as reviews, as far as what it's like to work here, they have pretty solid reviews. 3.8 out of 5 stars, 70% 70 do, 70 do recommend working here to a friend. They do mention benefits and their benefit ratings out of 44 people who have left reviews. They have a 3.9 out of 5 star rating, which is also very solid. And then interview-wise, Gaggle has you know, a 2.5 out of 5 difficulty rating, which isn't bad at all. And you have a 53% positive experience average and 33% negative, which is also a pretty good split of having, I mean, 20% more positive than negative is a really good sign as well. So no red flags that I can see here. It looks like a pretty easy job. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Again, the notification bell can get you, that can be the difference between you getting a job and not because it puts you ahead of all the other people who might be interested in this job as they get notified on YouTube. Also, if you thought this was helpful, if you like these types of opportunities, please click the like button. It tells me that this is a popular type of job. Maybe I should find more for you in the future. And if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, ask me a question or suggest something I cover in the future, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.